Hey guys, James from Nerd Room, and I'm back with a brand new toy unboxing for you, as usual. So, um, as usual, thank you guys for subscribing. Got a whole few more this week. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, I'm in the middle of the uh, Warlock Build-A-Figure Weave right now, so you don't want to miss a single one of these. If you have, please go back and watch those, but otherwise, please subscribe so you don't miss a single one of these. So, um... As I said, we're doing the Warlock Wave right now, so, uh, for Marvel Legends. And, uh, next figure in the line is, uh, Polaris. Who's Polaris? Well, she's basically a mutant that has the same powers as Magneto. It was to the point where Magneto kind of convinced her that maybe she was his daughter, but he knew he knew better. He was just playing a game on, playing a con game on her to try to get her to, you know, join up with him, and it, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. And uh, she felt, she kind of realized that wasn't the case. So, um, yeah, she's a X Men, X Factor, you name it. She fights for Xavier and all that. So, I'm going to shut up now and uh, we're going to take a tour around the figure. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about the box being a little damaged. It just, you know, it is, sometimes it is what it is, right? So, this is Marvel's Polaris figure. Obviously, uh, if you've ever seen her in a comic book, she's all green. At least the outfit is anyways. So obviously her, her uh, power tendrils will be green. And uh, she comes with that Warlock uh, part for the Warlock figure. Anyways, let's sort of tour around the box. A nice uh, profile pick of her on the side. Standing tall, you know, with a little uh, magnet powers going on. Going to the back, you have a nice profile pic of her looking at her at, with an intense look. I know how to talk. And the text says, is it magnetic, electrical, and gravit, gravitic? Yeah. Pop fields are no match for Polaris, a super being, because they can't see mutant apparently, with the ability to control and manipulate magnetism. Just like I said, basically, that's why Magneto tried to manipulate her. Anyways, um, Going onwards, you have the other figures to the uh, Warlock Wave on the bottom there. We're up to here, obviously. We, we've done these three already. This guy is next. And uh, we don't have Old Man Logan yet, but we'll get him in the future. Back to this side, we have another Polaris. I don't know why the lighting is a little wonky tonight, anyways. But anyways, uh, back to the front. You have Polaris on the front again. Warlock on the top. X-Men logo on the top there. Legends on that top. X-Men Polaris on the bottom. So, yeah, maybe I've talked too much. So, we'll uh, rip this sucker open and uh, put the figure to her paces, I guess. Okay, guys, so we have Polaris here looking pretty much like she popped out of her uh, 1960s origin book or whatever, but, you know, looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, I mean, got a cape, obviously, uh, the uh, helmet that looks almost like a Magneto helmet with an M, I guess, basically. I could be wrong in saying that, but like, I said, like I've said before, you know, she was uh, fooled by Magneto into thinking she could have been his adopted daughter. But anyways, uh, she comes with the uh, Warlock leg. We'll get to that later. She comes with a couple of the uh, usual uh, power, uh, power emanations, but this time they're done in like a lime green. They just stick her hand in. And uh, make it look like she's uh, using her magnetic powers. And uh, we're going to do the articulation. So her head only goes back that far because of the hair. Head goes forward that far, turns side to side, and can turn all the way around if you give it a little effort. Cape doesn't help too much, but anyways. Arm goes up that high, all the way around. One joint at the elbow, wrist rotation, and back and forth. Back and forth with a diaphragm like that, forward with a diaphragm like that, and rotation of the diaphragm. Legs go apart that far, legs go back and forth that far, rotation at the thigh, double jointed on the knee, no, uh, thigh, no uh, calf rotation, but she has back and forth and pivot on the ankle. So, as usual, that's the uh, female uh, articulation. So I'll uh, start showing up and we'll, uh, her through some poses. 
Now, maybe it's a cape that provides a counterbalance, but I'm not really having the problems with posing her as I have with my usual female figures for some reason, but here I had her more or less trying to use her powers or whatever, you know, maybe flip up a car or something, I think it looks pretty cool, and yeah, maybe the cape counterbalances as I'm moving the figure around and she's not falling over. So that's pretty cool. So here we have Polaris floating in the air, pretty much obviously uh, using her magnetic powers to hold herself up. So I think it looks pretty cool. Obviously the cape helps, am I right? But still uh, pretty cool. And here I just put her more on a, obviously using her powers pose, having the power emanations work. And you know, it's almost a classic comic book uh, pose. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm not, I'm never picky, that's why most of these poses look cool to me. <laughs> so there you go guys, it's another uh, Marvel Legends figure review for you. This one's what they would probably call an also ran, I guess, you know, when the background characters for the X-Men might once in a blue moon get a story devoted to her, but still, you know, it looks pretty cool. The green does stand out quite a bit, I find, because I like green. So, um, yeah, very cool figure, but she'll probably, you know, you know, get more in the background in my collection, but it is what it is, right? So, anyways, um, yeah, that's it for the Polaris review. Um, as always, thank you, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Um, getting subscribers by the week now. Um, I'm planning something for when I hit a hundred subscribers. So, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'm going to see about getting maybe a, two or three Marvel Legend figures. You know, like more or less quote unquote in demand ones and give do a giveaway but we'll see about how it goes so um see what's out there anyways uh thank you guys for watching um next show we're doing cyclops this guy right here i know he's in demand i know he's worth a few bucks but we're all we're opening him up anyway so um Give me your angry letters. Give me your angry comments saying, don't open the Cyclops. Please don't, for the love of God. But we're going to do it anyways. Just, you know, let's see what happens. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching the Polaris Review. I appreciate all your support. And uh, keep on watching, and I'll keep on unboxing.